He was born in Stornoway in Lewis and came from a prominent mercantile family. At a young age, he joined a fur trading company in Montreal. His name is Alexander Mackenzie. In the rugged and untamed landscapes of the 18th century, a young explorer by the name of Alexander Mackenzie was born in Stornoway, Lewis. He hailed from a family deeply rooted in adventure and trade, with his father serving as an ensign during the Jacobite Rising of 1745. As he grew older, Mackenzie's passion for exploration burned bright, leading him on a path that would forever shape the course of his life. At the tender age of 14, Mackenzie's journey began as he sailed to New York City with his father to join his uncle, John Mackenzie. However, the American War of Independence soon engulfed the land, and his father and uncle were called to serve in the King's Royal Regiment of New York. To ensure his safety as a loyalist son, young Alexander was sent to Montreal in 1778, accompanied by two aunts. In the bustling city of Montreal, Mackenzie's thirst for knowledge and adventure found an outlet. In 1779, he secured an apprenticeship with Finley, Gregory and Company, a prominent fur trading company in Montreal. Under the guidance of influential figures like Archibald Norman MacLeod, Mackenzie honed his skills in the intricate world of fur trade. As the years passed, Mackenzie's ambition grew, and in 1787, he witnessed a pivotal moment in his career. The merger of Finley, Gregory and Company with the Northwest Company marked a turning point, propelling Mackenzie into the heart of the fur trade industry. This partnership would serve as the catalyst for his future expeditions and explorations. 1787-1789 Hashtag start hashtag with the backing of the Northwest Company, Alexander Mackenzie embarked on a quest that would forever etch his name in the annals of exploration. His destination was the mighty Mackenzie River, a waterway that stretched across vast and uncharted territories. Setting off from Fort Chippewyan in 1789, Mackenzie's journey was arduous and fraught with challenges. Battling treacherous rapids, enduring harsh weather conditions, and facing the unknown, he and his intrepid crew pressed on, driven by an unwavering determination to uncover new frontiers. Finally, on July 22, 1789, Alexander Mackenzie stood at the mouth of the river that would bear his name, gazing out at the vast expanse before him. His epic journey had taken him to the edge of the continent, proving that a route to the Pacific Ocean existed, and forever solidifying his place in history as the first European to cross North America north of Mexico. Mackenzie's exploration of the Mackenzie River had a profound impact on the world, opening up new trade routes, expanding knowledge of the continent, and fueling the spirit of exploration that would shape the future. His name became synonymous with courage, resilience, and a thirst for discovery, inspiring generations of explorers to follow in his footsteps. From the humble shores of Stornoway to the uncharted territories of the Mackenzie River, Alexander Mackenzie's expeditions have left an indelible mark on the world. His unwavering spirit and unrelenting pursuit of knowledge continue to inspire adventurers to push the boundaries of what is possible. Alexander Mackenzie embarked on a daring expedition to explore the unknown lands of the Arctic. As a representative of the Northwest Company, he had established Fort Chippewyan on the shores of Lake Athabasca the year before. Guided by the knowledge shared by the local First Nations people, Mackenzie set out on the Decho River, known as the Mackenzie River today. With great determination, he paddled his canoe through the rugged terrain, driven by the belief that this river would lead to the coveted Northwest Passage. Days turned into weeks as Mackenzie pushed forward, battling against the currents and unpredictable weather. On July 14, his perseverance paid off as he finally reached the vast expanse of the Arctic Ocean. However, his joy was tinged with disappointment. Instead of the Pacific Ocean and the sought-after Northwest Passage, he found himself standing on the shores of the Arctic. Undeterred, Mackenzie pressed on, leaving his mark on the land he had explored. In a letter to his cousin Roderick, he referred to this waterway as, the river disappointment, expressing his hopes that had been unfulfilled. Yet, through his courageous journey, the river came to be known as the Mackenzie River, forever honoring the explorer who had dared to venture into the unknown. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.